So, straight ahead, starting on problem five. No, six. Now, um, we have subfield of C. And the two and the three lie in that subfield, and then those. So, we have... Mm -hmm. There we go. If we have the um, G are the points in the curve, so that both coordinates lie in K, then we have to show that the subgroup of the additive group of points on the uh, elliptic curve. And to prove that, uh, we need to see if P and Q both lie in G. Then minus P plus Q lies in G. And we note, of course, that um, the unit uh, naught and 1 lies in any subfield. So the unit is actually already in G. And using the, uh, and minus P, if this is A, uh, we can't use A and B. Oh, if this is x1 and y1, then this is x1 point minus y1, and this is x2 point y2. So we have to add them, and then I just have to check my glasses. So we shall use formula 7-1 for the addition. And uh, 7-4. M equals I2 plus I, Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Plus because I'm using um, the inverse point here. And uh, boom, 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 and then x three equals minus x two plus x one minus b divided by a plus one divided by a m squared. And, uh, well, I'm actually doing the general problem now, am I not? So, uh, there's no problem. A is not, we can divide and we can multiply and we can square and we can do everything. Uh, so the only thing we have to do that's in case the, uh, de the denominator is vanishes here, but uh, then we get the unit point, of course, so uh, which lies in in the group G already. So I don't see the problem at all. So this is just a, a trivial observation, I think.